Thing to do and place to go, so we gotta get started. Okay? Where's gems? Can someone call gems, please? So the uh, today we basically go over really quick uh, about who we are. Then after that, uh, something that uh, I'm waiting for is a good lunch. So uh, I can smell food from here. Please do more. Anyway, so 
Before I start, I would like to um, call on Sam. Sam Train is one of the founders of this organization. And believe me, this building, this place would not be here without him. He's doing everything he can for the last few months. And because of uh, some issue with inspection occupancy, so we only allow 49 people at a time until we get more um, down the road. So for that reason, we cannot invite everyone. Uh, and that we apologize. We have divided by two events last night and tonight. Last night was a blast. And we only have four tables, four tables here, and we were able to raise over $6,000. Remember, you know, these people, they work hard. They work hard. Every single penny, they work hard. They don't write you a check for a thousand dollars, five dollars for nothing. Because they believe they see what we do. Okay. So anyway, Sam, please come in up, please. And then after Sam, we have an object. Thank you. Thank you. Um, thank you for everyone being here. Thank you for everyone being here today. Um, appreciate it. everyone take a busy schedule to get here today to attend this special occasion. I'm really excited. I don't know why excited or I'm nervous. Might be bold. But um, because due to occupancy purpose last night, we have to divide two grand open. So um, last night, it turned out very good. But they good people, a local business owner, and some of them was the um, surrounding area. They come fire from Cadillac, Battle Creek, Kalamazoo. I got a phone call from San Marie, their brother said, I cannot make it today, Sunday. I got an open visit on Monday. That our fire is our member. And they come. The first time, we've been planning for a few months already, so we've been recruiting members and uh, the whole night, yeah, and this is the last night, the first time they meet. They come, they meet, they talk, they share the struggle and story, and we listen. We do a lot of listen last night. Of course, food and drink, but they got to open the business. I, um, last night, we got eight more members, so now we got a total of 72. 72 for, for, for last few months, we could 72 members, and we got eight more Vansom members. That's very good to give them all those people a hand. And I will. That will be any more council member on that board. On that board. Please come in. So, I'm having my job today. I just thank you, everyone, for coming. So, I will thank you all the member of council for this event. Very, very special event, especially all the representatives for the mayor and the uh, land developer, Wyoming, Ken Wood, and some other association here. Uh, if I miss out anyone, please forgive me. But uh, sincerely, thank you for everyone coming in and uh, enjoying and help us. This organization become successful without you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, 
we don't have a lot of time, we're gonna wrap this up quick. So uh, what I wanna do is I wanna introduce our board member. So the first person I want to introduce, okay, is uh, Mr. Uh, Kirk Fan. Now he is the face of community. If you're looking for a West Michigan within Vietnamese community, if you want to one person that spent over the lot the last 35 years with me, and doing all the work for the community. Okay. Kid Fan is currently the president of our organization. So please come here and say hi to everyone. <laughs> hi everybody. Um, my job actually is done here last time. I'm all set for my today is uh, Philip and uh, Jen, he will come in, and Sam, and another person here, we thought, uh, my job like that, okay? But I just want to say, just a little bit, I want you guys to get a little smile before we go uh, further. Um, when I come to the United States, just one thing I love it, because they call United States of America. So whoever you are, we are all family. Whatever you talk, whatever language, we are family, right? That's what I love in America. We have one Mexican guy and one Vietnamese guy. They work together for a long time. But sometimes they don't even understand each other. But they are good friends for over 30 years. One morning, the Mexican guy asked the Vietnamese guy, when they walk into the store, when they walk into the factory, say, hola, hola. The Vietnamese guy say, no, no, no Coca-Cola, just tequila. <laughs> and the Mexican guy asked him, como te llama? Como te llama? The Vietnamese guy say, oh, my mama died long time ago. <laughs> right? So, we are family, right? So whatever we talk, we understand each other. Thank you. <laughs> the next person, <laughs> So here is James. Now, when I ask, uh, what James come here? And I, I, I uh, when I, I ask Sam, I said, Sam, okay, we need someone to be on the board, someone who have legal experience. Okay, and someone not only that, but work with the Vietnamese, uh, he's an American community. And he go like, I have one guy. He been doing for the last, last 30 years. And he knows our community. So James, one of our board members, coming up, James, and I do most of the work for you for the welcoming guests and everything. But just come here and say hi to everyone. Sorry, now I know. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome, and thank you for your support today. Your presence here sends a clear message of support for our community. And we greatly appreciate it. This grand opening is an auspicious event, not only for our association, but for the Asian American business community as a whole. It is a recognition of the fact that small business ownership in the Asian American community has progressed tremendously, and that the people who have come to this country with a dream are working hard to achieve that. It is our acknowledgement that Many of these businesses have progressed to the point where effective communication with our government officials and agencies is essential. AASBA was formed to address that need. It is our expectation that we can effectively liaison for the community as we advocate for the needs of Asian American businesses. It is also our goal to be a resource for the Asian American small business community as they deal on a day-to-day -day basis with the obstacles that often arise when operating a business. Thank you very much. At this time, I'd like to, oh, I guess not. Sam's done. I was gonna bring him on board, but thank you very much. We appreciate you all very much. Okay, uh, last but not least, so, um, we were looking for pioneer people who have the story, have the commitment, have the dedication to serve our own board. We found a person, a friend of mine, Charlie Tong. 
Please, Charlie, stand up. Now, if you Google home like Vietnamese American billionaire, you see his face. If you Google the guy king of the salon business who owned and operate over 700 salons. You walk to Walmart, you see a salon, and his salon. Every corner of America. Not only that, in, I believe in Puerto Rico and some other uh, islands also. So Charlie served as an advisor, but not only advisor. You see a sign in front, a banner, everything, he does for us for free. So it is kind of benefit, great benefit. So he brings in a lot of expertise for us. Flew all the way to Louisiana, from Louisiana, uh, and uh, he have his own speech later on, but I just want to introduce you to him, uh, him to you, you guys. Before I um, move on, okay, I would like to once again acknowledge all the guests. We have uh, Congressman uh, Hillary Scott. Um, Great honor to have you and your. Uh, My district director. Yes, yes. I, here, yes. <laughs> I need coffee, I'm telling you that. <laughs> Thank you. We have Mayor of Kenwood, Stephen Kennedy, friend of mine. Okay. Not only, I like this man the most, he's not only a partisan, but a God fearing man. I like him. We have Rep. Tommy Brand who advocate for the area, the business right here. Okay. We see a lot of contribution from you, our community. We have Lady Moray from Asian American uh, of West Michigan. We have Dr. Connie Dang from GVSU. Okay. We have Commissioner Lily um, um, Chen here. And we have Tom Norton from the WKTV. This TV station, has a long history with our community, and I'm glad you and your associate are here. Now we have uh, our newly elected uh, Vietnamese American president here in Michigan, uh, Nico Lang is here, okay? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And a few other guests, if I miss you, please forgive me, but uh, some of you have sent in the name, some of you have not sent in the name, so we didn't have that on the table. Right? If we forgot, let us know, and we will make sure you include it. Okay. So go ahead and get the next slide for you, please. Barrier, cultural barrier, language barrier, 
you would not believe. I served on the state board and under state board customer, even though my I'm a software engineer, I own my IT firm. I know nothing about the cosmology, but governor, uh, our governor said, Philip, we need to be guilty of that. Since I serve on that board, I tell you what, you want to believe what kind of problem that is in American business, basically. And I can tell you story and story, but today's not, we don't have time to go over those. Okay, next one. Asian American is to start up. Okay. We have so many stories about Asian Americans start up Christmas. Okay. Not knowing. Just 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 imagine it. Just imagine it. This is off the script. Just imagine it. Next week, next time, we happen to be in a new country. For some reason. You know, some alien invaded America, and we have to be refugee of somewhere, right? You live in a, you're in a country, we don't know the language, you don't know the culture, you don't, everything is brand new. And you have two choices. Either you work for minimum wage, because all your college degree over there that you work over here, so you start out as a refugee, you have to work for minimum wage. Or you open a business. When you open the business, you have over 7,000 pages of tax issue. That's the federal law. Not to mention the state, the local, and everything else. Every month, new rule coming up. Every month, every month new compliance coming up. Every month, new revenues new, uh, coming up. And the reality here is, a lot of this owner they receive the letter. They receive the notice. And they read it, and they have no clue what they read. A whole, a whole, a, a, a creed can tell, Charlie will tell you a story on this. I serve on the board, believe it or not. We meet every quarter. And each time we meet, the long list of this, and this is state public. You can go on Google and you can see it. It is a public information. You go on there, the list is that long. Sadly, over 85% is in American business for blind issues. The fine ranging from $750 to $5,000, $10,000. And the list is so long. And believe it or not, I say a friend of mine, I said, guess what? The number one violation that they they that they got fined for over two thousand dollars is they did they have the license to open business, but they didn't know they had the displays correct. Believe it or not, that's the number one violation. Number two, not enough trust came. Thing like that. And I tell you what, if these business owners know, they would not make those violations because they work so hard. You do a nails or you sell a bus in a restaurant, how much do they earn out of that? And for the whole hours, and then you have to spend so much money on paying these penalty. The bottom line here is we need an organization to help making sure our Asian American know. Okay. That's one small, that's one example that I, I, I'll tell you. Uh, understanding tax issue, compliance, SBA loan. I asked, I went out and asked a bunch of business, I said, do you know that you don't have to put up your whole family, you don't have to mortgage your home, you don't have to borrow your relative, that you can borrow money? Really? It exists? I say, yeah. See, they come from a country, there's no such, right? But here is different. I also said, do you know that you can bring this issue to the mayor, to the representative, you know, to your congressman? Really? See, we came from a country, uh, uh, most of us, uh, in 
Asia, you just follow them. You don't have input. You can't talk to your politician. You cannot talk to your mayor. You cannot talk to your representative. They, I don't know, they, they, our congressman would be happy to meet you. Our mayor would be happy to listen to you. He's, they just accept it as they pay something. Brother Jack, done with it. Because they thought that's the only thing they can do. We move on and I'll move on. But we have so many issues that we need cultural language, uh, a cultural different, and the language barrier is also number one issue. Next slide. So our service, okay, what we can do with AASBA, okay, that we want to work closely okay, with the local and state agency to make sure that small business navigate all this regulation and avoid all these compliance issues. That at the end of it, who pay for? to make sure they don't have, because we're not completely from, uh, 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 eliminated, but we try the best we can. Last but not least, we are advocating on equal treatment. Equal treatment. Now I'm telling you this week, mayor right here, with representative right here, congressman right here, I have you a call now. We have you go into the salon, we will go to the restaurant, they eat and they walk out like nothing happened. They don't even run, they just walk out. And we call the car and they never show up because, you know, it's Asian American business. We have too many calls from this shop, you know. We make it sure. We are going to advocate, we'll be a watchdog to make sure, okay, we demand equal treatment because under the tax law, everyone pays the same. That's what it is. Our goal is the next. Yeah, I know. Yep. Our uh, our goal the next. Uh, we want to build our membership. We want uh, to grow by the end of uh, 2025. We want to have a thousand members. And uh, guess what? Uh, with, with with Charlie, he will bring us over 700 members already. Him alone. So we'll reach a thousand member pretty quick. Uh, we also want a budget of at least two to fifty thousand dollars by next year so we can do what we need to do. Okay, next one please. And we want a lot of volunteers. Okay. Now the time uh, we have to keep it short. I know uh, we wanna invite our VIP guests to have a few words. You have one or two minutes at most. Okay. <laughs> I know so uh, we would like to invite Congressman Hillary up here to share a few words. And after that, well, thank you so much, uh, Phil, for uh, that, that introduction and mostly for all of your hard work and dedication to the entire board. Uh, for everything that you have done to bring us to this moment. And I want to say congratulations to you all on this momentous occasion. <laughs> Did you know that out of all the businesses in Michigan, close to 99% are considered small businesses? A disproportionate number of those businesses are started by first generation Americans who are entrepreneurs, job creators, the fabric of our community. When I was elected to Congress, you know, you have a choice of the committees that you want to serve on. And I chose to serve on the House Small Business Committee because I know how important it is to serve our small business community here in West Michigan, which is the, the fabric of our society. You're right, I'm here to listen. That's why I took time uh, out of my day. I should have taken more time. Uh, apologies, it's a big district to serve. Uh, but took time to be here personally so that people would know how important it is to me and my office. I'm here with my district director, Christian, uh, who's here when I'm in Washington. And if any of the associated businesses, as you continue to grow, need assistance with a federal agency, we're here to help. Thank you. 
I come bearing yes, thank you, thank you. I come bearing gifts. In honor of all of your hard work, I want to present you with this special congressional certificate. Wow.